Greetings friends, Paul here. It's been a while since I posted a science video and man, am I happy to be bringing you this one tonight. I've been reading lately about how the Earth's resonant frequency has been increasing and spoiler alert, that is a false claim. The Earth's resonant frequency is not increasing Rather, the amplitude and harmonics within the existing Schumann resonance frequencies of planet Earth, those um, amplitudes or intensities may be increasing. So let's check out all the nuances of this stop topic, beginning with the sh what is the Schumann resonance, the function is the nth mode of the resonant frequency equals the speed of light divided by 2 times pi times the Earth's radius times the square root of the base times the base plus 1. Speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second. The Earth's radius is about 6,371 kilometers. So empirically, if we just stick a 1 in for n, we arrive at 10.6 hertz as far as a base 1 resonant frequency for planet Earth. Well, factoring in the discrepancies for the ionosphere, the actual harmonics for Earth's natural resonance turns out to be base 1 is 7.8 hertz and base 2 if we plug that in for n is 14.3 hertz 20.8 hertz 27.3 hertz and 33.8 hertz etc down the line these frequencies continue down as we progress in frequency, the higher the frequency, folks, the lower the amplitude or intensity with the base um, frequency 7.8 being far the dominant frequency of planet Earth. Now, interestingly, these frequencies of planet Earth roughly correspond to our own brain waves in delta with our deepest sleep, unconscious sleep, that's well below 7.8 actually. But as far as our brain waves go, generally sleeping is a theta stage, which roughly corresponds to 7.8. 7.8 is proven to be very calming to our heart muscle, as well as the sympathetic nervous system. And going through these other um, har harmonics in the Earth's uh, resonant frequencies generally correspond to alpha and beta, beta brain waves of our waking hours. And on the high end here, you can see 33.8 hertz. Um, that roughly corresponds, or it's getting close to our brain waves, gamma waves, which is over 38 hertz. Now, the reason why people, there's this new age chatter that the earth's frequency is increasing and that has to do with yeah there are earth frequencies that are over uh, 34 hertz but again those happen naturally anyhow it's just that perhaps the amplitude or the intensity has ramped up um, due to numerous factors like it could be um, solar or plasma flares coming off the sun that could be bombarding our ionosphere and temporarily boosting up those amplitudes. Also cosmic gamma radiation that can uh, infiltrate our ionosphere can also temporarily uh, change that up as well. The ionosphere is about 60 to 1,000 kilometers above the earth. 7.8 or the base 1 frequency is in blue here and you can see that this goes basically around the earth hugging the earth bouncing one time off the ionosphere again this is the most relaxing frequency that is just basic to life and the second base 
you can see bounces twice off the ionosphere. The third base goes in a triangular fashion, bouncing, making three points of contact with the ionosphere, etc. down the line. Four and five would be touching four and five times around the ionosphere. And if we get up into gamma and above, that's going to be a higher frequency bouncing six, seven, ten times off the ionosphere as we go further up in frequency. Now these frequencies get charged in the ionosphere earth cavity mostly by lightning as a natural phenomenon. However, we may be experiencing amplitude fluctuations and increases given our human-made technology, uh, particularly on, in the order of uh, cell phones, Wi-Fi, radiation everywhere. 5G communication is going to be around 28 gigahertz, folks, compared to 2.4 gigahertz for the current uh, Wi-Fi, for example. It may be plausible that if our collective consciousness is operating in the gamma state of 38 hertz or above, which is accounts for excitement or stress, also notably creativity, by the way, you know, there's always that yin, yin and yang. Um, well, if you're adding all of that collective energy of billions of people around the planet, that could be accounting for this uh, perception, this physiological perception of um, stress or fatigue as the collective consciousness is creating this brainwave energy that's bouncing off the ionosphere and putting us more into these higher frequency levels that um, naturally, whose natural amplitude is just not as high when you're just accounting for things like lightning or any uh, plasma, solar flares, or cosmic gamma rays that would happen naturally? Or is it technological? Is our technology accounting for um, a higher amplitude in higher frequency electromagnetic radiation? Or is it our collective consciousness that we're emerging into a, a higher state of awareness or could it be anxiety could it be both could it be anxiety and a higher state of perhaps evolution or creativity if you want to feel good and relaxed and have good health get rid of all the electromagnetic techno technology that we're creating and bombarding ourselves with all over the place go back to the country as far away as you can and and just tune in to Earth's natural 7.8 hertz because it's proven to be calming to the heart muscle and our nervous system. There's articles posted in the description below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting content. May your wavelength be long and slow.